bloody crows. Right then, welcome back to the channel, you vegetastic people. You find me at the far corner of my uh, four bay composting station. This is probably the best composting station on YouTube. So, that was a bold claim, even if I say so myself, right, I'm in a right mess. So you know, you can see a bit of damage on the lid here. Not worried about that, and there's some damage there, that's gotta be repaired. You know that this lid blew, blew back because it was held down with these concrete blocks. Well, I thought I need to come up with a way of holding the lids down more securely. And the plan was, I put that big hook in there, big eye bolt in there, and another one there. And when I put a ratchet strap over, it was just crushing this, and I couldn't get the ratchet strap tight enough without having any major bow in the middle, and the, the lids could still flap up and down violently in the wind. Now, even though, look at these trees, even though these trees are hardly moving, an hour ago, these lids flipped back in the wind because I, I was working on it and I hadn't held them down with anything. It was just down like this. Just flipped back, so they are acting like a massive sail. So I needed to come up with a more happy days veg, industrial, over-engineered uh, solution to my problem. And I should have done this first. I was going to do this originally, but you know, these little jobs, if you don't do them straight away, you, you forget about them, and before you know it, your uh, your lids are flipping open and there's damage done. Now, luckily, there's not a lot of damage done to this. So what I've done is this. I've fixed a piece of 3B2 treated timber here, uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a, a, a coating of uh, wood protection, like I did with my gates and everything and the front here but notwithstanding that's another story so i've screwed that on there with nice big thick screws and then i'm going to put some pictures up on the screen of these handles but these handles you want if you've watched if you've watched my uh chicken coop build or if you watch me build my uh generator shed you'll know that I use these type of handles, I just make these type of handles, they're heavy duty, they're rock solid, perfect, perfect size if you've got a big thick glove on as well. That is a piece, that is a piece, a 10mm all threaded rod with a nut and washer brazed onto there, that's chamfered, that's 3 8 black braided hose to give you an ice grip, and on the underside of there is one of those captive nuts that grip tightly into the wood. So I've just drilled a hole through there, put that in, press it down gently, and then just tighten it up. And granted, and granted, there's an inch of thread sticking out the bottom there, and I could cut some of that off, so you don't have to twizzle it around so much. But the one at the far end had to be longer than all the others. So I just made them all identical. So you don't have to try and sort out which is which when you come to put them back in. That there is solid. That's not going anywhere. Yes, this is going to flap a bit. That'll flap a bit. But I'm not bothered about that. Not much movement in the middle of there. And rock solid there. Now that piece of wood has broke there. That's why there's a bit of movement. But that, that is rock solid, going nowhere. I should have done that in the first place. If you can't make it perfect, make it adjustable. And if you live around these parts, you've got to make it heavy duty. Right, time for a brew, because there's been a drastic lack of tea. I'll see you guys later, happy days. Man's a genius in his own lifetime. <laughs> 